good and what up? It's your brother Sam and here at Viral Hip Hop News. Do me a favor, family, before we get started with the content, y'all know what to do. Go up top and hit that like button. Alright, so it looks like Usher has unfortunately been the latest victim of an L.A. home robbery. The intruders came into his L.A. home and robbed him for a total of $820,000 worth of jewelry and cash. And they also took the security footage as well. Now, his estranged wife, Grace Miguel, reported that his house has been broken into and she found out from her housekeeper around the time of March 29th. The housekeeper told Miguel that when she arrived at the home that morning, she discovered a footprint on the second floor and a handprint on the pillow in the lower floor and the curtains to the lower floor window were open. Now, it should be noted that Usher, a couple weeks prior to the event, had an open house. His house is on the market. We all know the situation going on between himself and his estranged wife, Greg Miguel, following for a divorce. So it doesn't seem as though anyone was in the house at the time of the robbery. It seems like one of these situations where this is one of his extra houses and he may have been out of town and someone was coming in and out. Now, Miguel also says when she arrived at the house, she verified some jewelry had been stolen. And when she called Usher to tell him what happened, she discovered that cash was also missing from a box on their nightstand, approximately 20K. That's according to a report. Now, Grace Miguel also told police she believed the thieves must have unlocked the window in the home during a recent home open house like I alluded to. She said she had reached out to the realtor to get a list of people who had been to the open house and would turn it over to the police when she had it. Now, when I heard what happened, we've heard this over and over again. You hear a number of countless stars being robbed in L.A. And I'm like, damn, how can this possibly happen with the heightened security. I don't know if anyone out here has ever been to the Hollywood Hills or up in them hills. It's not easy to get in there and rob a place and just jump out of there. It's not as easy as just walking into your normal home. The hills and shit ain't easy to, you know what I mean, maneuver up and down to do that in the amount of time that you can do it. So it makes sense that he wasn't home and a lot of these celebrities aren't home during their robbery given the fact that they have multiple homes throughout the country, usually one in their hometown and then usually in their place of business, that being LA, New York, where have you. At the end of the day, we're glad no one got hurt at, in this situation. They did get away with damn near a million dollars worth of stuff. I'm sure Usher has homeowners insurance covering everything in the crib. So at the end of the day, it's probably spilled milk to him. No one wants to have their belongings tampered into or feel violated in any way by any stretch of the imagination. But long story short, no one got hurt, his belongings can be replaced, and Usher wasn't really beat for 20 racks. So hopefully the people can be apprehended and he can get his money back, and they just got to be up stronger on their security measures. Y'all leave a comment in the comment section, let me know what y'all think of this situation. Usher being robbed 120 k in his L.A. home, no one was in the house, all safe, all good. Also in the description box, you'll see links to our Twitter homepage, brand new website, hiphopun.com. And make sure you stay tuned to the Uncensored True Podcast with my man, Old God, over at Hip Hop News Uncensored, and myself, Sam Man at Viral Hip Hop News, dropping live every Monday and Thursday nights. Appreciate each and every one of y'all to stay tuned and support that movement over there. Always trying to keep it raw, real, and cut here about Hip Hop News. Until next time, until next story, I sincerely appreciate y'all, and I'm out of here. Peace. Fuck y'all, nigga. The feeling to be. The feeling to be. The feeling to be.